So when we consider uh, the question of climate change and human mobility and the discourses that have emerged to make sense and uh, do something about that relation, we see that these discourses have a lot to do with claims about the future. Uh, they are future oriented and they have a lot to do with the ways in which we, we in general, whatever that we means, want to shape uh, the world we will live in in the future. And it's also a way to govern the present by referring to the future. Given that this is our, oh, I see, that's the way in which I see these discourses on climate change and migration. And therefore, to it's important uh, to understand their roots and also their finalities or effects. So, and in order to do that, I think that it's crucial to try to uh, take a step back from the actual face value of these discourses and try to understand and deconstruct, uh, following the tradition of critical theory, the normative, historical and affective dimensions that these discourses build on. Uh, so looking at the subjectivities and relations on which these discourses build, but also the subjectivities and relations that are reproduced and made possible by these discourses. So that's where I think that a critical, reflexive or deconstructive approach can be very useful to understand the broader effects and roots of these narratives on climate change and human mobility and also allow us to uh, open up the, the debate and to discuss about this relation between climate change and human mobility as uh, not as a problem to be solved but as a question about futures that we want to open up for or futures we want to exclude.